Pretty much on the expected line, Apple has unveiled the M4 iPad Pro with plenty of horsepower. In this detailed video, I'm going to highlight over 25 differences between the M2 iPad Pro and the M4 iPad Pro. So, if you are on the edge thinking whether or not the brand new iPad Pro is worth upgrading, this video will help you take the smart decision. That said, let's get started. While previous iPad Pro models come in 11-inch and 12.9-inch display options, the latest iPad Pro models come in 11-inch and 13-inch display options. While the previous iPad Pro models come with Liquid Retina or Liquid Retina XDR display, LED or Mini LED backlit display with IPS, the latest iPad Pro models come with Ultra Retina XDR display tandem OLED. Whereas previous iPad Pro models support 600 nits max SDR brightness, the latest iPad Pro models support 1000 nits max SDR brightness. Besides, the latest iPad Pro models also support nano texture display glass option on one TV and two TV models. While the previous iPad Pro models come with M2 chip, the latest iPad Pro models are powered by M4 chip. While the previous iPad Pro models support 8 core CPU, the latest iPad Pro models support 9 or 10 core CPU. Besides, they also support hardcore accelerated ray tracing. While the previous iPad Pro models support hardware accelerated H.264 HEVC ProRes and ProRes RAW, the latest iPad Pro models support hardware accelerated 8K H.264 HEVC ProRes and ProRes RAW. While the previous iPad Pro models support ProRes Encode and Decode Engine, the latest iPad Pro models are powered by ProRes Encode and Decode Engine AV1 Decode. While the previous iPad Pro models support 100 GB memory bandwidth, the latest iPad Pro models support 120 GB memory bandwidth. Besides, they also support improved thermal design and graphics seat and copper. The previous iPad Pro models come with 10 MP F slash 2.4 ultra wide camera and they also support 2x optical zoom out and digital zoom up to 5x while the latest ipad pro model support digital zoom up to 5x and they also support prores video recording up to 4k at 60 fps with external recording while the previous ipad pro model support only true tone flash the latest ipad pro model support adaptive true tone flash and they also support rear ambit light sensor. Whereas the previous iPad Pro model support 12 MP ultra wide front facing camera, the latest iPad Pro model support landscape 12 MP ultra wide front facing camera, while the previous iPad Pro model support sub 6 Hz and MM Wave 5G support, the latest iPad Pro model support sub 6 Hz 5G support only, while the previous iPad Pro model support physical SIM card slot, the latest iPad Pro model support eSIM only. While the previous iPad Pro models have 5.9 mm or 6.4 mm depth, the latest iPad Pro models have 5.3 mm or 5.1 mm depth. While the previous iPad Pro models weigh 1.03 pounds or 1.5 pounds, the latest iPad Pro models weigh 0.98 pounds or 1.28 pounds. While the previous iPad Pro models support Apple Pencil, USB-C, and Apple Pencil 2nd generation, the latest iPad Pro models support USB-C and Apple Pencil Pro. While the previous iPad Pro models support Magic Keyboard for iPad and Smart Keyboard Folio, the latest iPad Pro models support Magic Keyboard for iPad Pro M4. Talking about storage options, the previous iPad models are available with 128GB, 256GB, 512GB, 1TB and 2TB storage options, while the latest iPad Pro models are available with 256GB, 512GB, 1TB and 2TB storage options. As far as color options are concerned, the previous iPad models are available in silver and space gray, whereas the latest iPad Pro models are available in silver and space black. 
Taking everything into account, the new iPad Pro is a massive upgrade over the previous generation, providing a large number of improvements that vastly improve the hardware experience with the device. The high-end OLED display, thinner and lighter design, adaptive true-tone flash, and landscape 12MP ultra-wide front-facing camera make the M4 iPad Pro a robust tablet without any doubt whatsoever. Features like the M4 chip, nano texture display option, and Apple Pencil Pro support have the potential to enhance specific tasks and processes with the device which could be particularly important to the likes of content creators and digital artists. That all being said, I would like to highlight that the new iPad Pro does not have any software advantages over previous versions of the device. Upgrading to the latest model is unlikely to dramatically change workflows, but it should offer a better overall experience. However, users with an older iPad Pro such as a 2018 model or older have considerably more to gain by upgrading and that's pretty much it. So these are my honest thoughts about M4 iPad Pro models. Now that you have known my views, it's time to share your feedback as well and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy guides. Till then, stay safe and have a good time. Bye bye.